Uh, two questions. Uh, first is for Eric. Uh, having been involved in the production side, you were the producer and director, and I, I was actually wondering why do the later movies, or at least the ones you were involved with, have the Japanese music intact while the vast majority of episodes had a lot of the Japanese music replaced? Mm, good question. So, it's all about licensing. So, for those of you who don't know, I directed Yu-Gi-Oh! I, did, I directed some Pokemon, I, I directed a Pokemon movie here and there, and um, so I was on both sides of the glass for, for many, many years. And one of the reasons is when you, when we, they purchased the licensing of a show, right, um, and they reformat it, when they license it to different countries, the voices are being replaced, right? But if the music is not being replaced, then you're making residuals on that end of it. So what Four Kids decided was, hey, we'll redo the music so that when it's airing in Canada or it's airing in you know, France or Germany or whatever, and they're replacing the actors uh, with their local actors, they're still making the money on the licensing of the music. So it's all about that, which makes a lot of sense. Now, in some of the films, there might have been a deal with the, the, the Japanese company you can't change, you can remove that song or whatever, but a lot of the movies, even the closing credits, we might have used their music, but we rewrote the lyrics, and so they own the publishing on that end of it, so it's all about that. So, Or they bought the rights to it and then made money on that as well, so it's all about the money. That's how it works. Yeah.